Claiming at least one life and knocking out power for hundreds of thousands. An update on what's being called one of the worst storms in U.S. history. I think they would lose some very highly qualified teachers with the vaccine mandate. Well, teachers speaking out against a possible vaccine requirement at CCSD when a decision could be reached and the petition already circulating on the policy. An annual ride across the country kicks off ahead of September 11th. How one group of Southern Nevadans is honoring the people lost in the attack 20 years ago. Oh my God! Yo, yo! Well, today Hurricane Ida made landfall in Louisiana with winds at one point gusting up to 150 miles per hour. The storm wreaked havoc across Louisiana and Mississippi, knocking out power to the entire city of New Orleans and even causing the Mississippi River to flow in reverse. At least one person has died after reportedly falling from a tree. Ida is being called one of the worst storms ever to hit the U.S. If you had to draw up, uh, the worst possible path for a hurricane in Louisiana. It would be something very, very close to what we're seeing. Well, we are taking a live look from Baton Rouge after making landfall as a Category 4. Ida has weakened to a Category 2. Fox 5 meteorologist Les Criffin is tracking where it's headed from here. Yeah, basically, Lauren, I mean, it started off yesterday morning as a Category 1 hurricane, quickly blew into a Category 4 earlier today. Once